right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 16th UP podcast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I uh I just want to clarify here. Is this the first one Zimmy hasn't made? This is the first podcast first... that our own Braden Zimmer is not at. That is crazy. This is weird. And I, the, it, I know you Zimmy's on another level on no these bear. things. Oh shit. <laughs> But yeah, it's crazy. Like this is the first pod that Zimmy could not make. Um, I also want to throw uh, an an apology out to our all our like dedicated viewers. We missed this Monday. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say like we had a lot on the go. Uh, a ton on the go. Yeah, like we, we just got back from a five day Idaho trip. Like we're busy, and then I'm taking off for another five days right away. So I'm trying to get this podcast in now, and hopefully, and we'll have it out on Monday that'll be yeah because yeah you're gone for five days i go back to work immediately for five more days and then oh the boys are just oh you're back for five busy. yeah i i have i'm working a day of overtime Oof. probably <laughs> yeah, needed rough. needed though oh, after yeah. so it's a long time off <laughs> yeah a lot of money was spent <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right okay so first off we're obviously gonna start with a drink review uh jared i'm gonna go first you go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go yeah you go you go, uh, you go. i want to see what you got here so today i got a nice okanagan black cherry nice i'm a big cider fan if you didn't know hard to tell hard to tell <laughs> here we go yeah it sounds good smooth oh Mm. There's nothing like the classic Okanagan, eh? Smooth, man. This is probably my second least favorite out of all the Okanagans I've tried, but I still Dude. give it a solid 7-8. Seven, 7-8. Eight. Seven, eight. A solid 7-8, even though it's like <laughs> almost at the bottom of the list. Yeah, it's still, it's just so good. I, I love an Okanagan. Dude, honestly, yeah, Okanagan slap. Dude. I I remember being a teenager and just getting those two liter Okanagans. Oh yeah, and just slamming those straight. Good stuff. Got you, <laughs> yeah. got you drunk really quick. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, I did. What do you okay. got for us? Well, I'm bringing a bit of Idaho back with us. Something oh. I picked up in Idaho. I was able to save. I think two of these <laughs> is a Happy Thursday. Hey. Yeah, so it's no a bear. spiked. Oh damn it, dude! I'm not on it. <laughs> you guys will hear about yeah, this. We'll talk about it. <laughs> it's a spiked refresher, bubble free, and this flavor is strawberry. It's four point four, so it's pretty good. Okay. I think there's like, yeah, it's it's kind of odd. Damn, dude, the strawberry one's so good. Oh, really? I'm telling you, oh, it takes me back. It. Wait see, a sec. See, I've never been a a big strawberry fan. Oh, jeez. Half the way. can's gone. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, I enjoyed these, and I'm glad I picked them up when we're in like Super One Foods. I was like, oh yeah. The second I'm drinking those in the hot tub, this thing's a solid nine point four. <laughs> A nine four. A nine four. I'm telling you, it's juice that gets you hammered. I swear to God, the bubble free is so good. Like, you can just chug it back. You can gun these. Oh, dude, and they're like not bad calories and stuff. I nine four. Here, let me put this on here. Happy Thursday, strawberry bubble yeah. free. If you ever in Idaho or in the states. Why wait for Friday? Happy Thursday. So good. Hell yeah. Chef's kiss. 9-4. I swear to God, every time I go down there, I'm getting them. All right. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, about, I'm about it. I like yeah. it. I uh, uh, just takes me back to getting hammered in the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... All right. Now, as some of you may know, we've been doing a podcast giveaway. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> we only had, we only had two people enter. Two enters. We had Mr. Kevin King enter, 
and we had Zach Piggin Piggin enter enter. Uh, I already posted this on our Instagram story. If Zach Zach's the winner, Zach won Zach, it. let's Zach. go, Zach. Yeah, let's go, big big time. Uh, Zach, big time. yo, be, 50 50 odds, dude. Yeah, we'll be going. We'll be contacting you via Instagram, Zach. Uh, we'll get you your giveaway. Don't you worry. Heck congratulations, yeah. big congratulations, Congrats, brother. This was a huge podcast giveaway, man. If you haven't seen, like, I there's a there's a post on our Instagram of every of almost everything that's in this podcast or in this giveaway. Um, I was missing a couple of things because they're over at Zimmy's at the moment, but there's a lot in this giveaway. Like, this yeah. is huge. And I think you know, there was a first run sycamore I chucked in there. Yeah, we we chucked in a first run sycamore. There's also Zimmy, a, a Casey Hanemeyer sign. I think a PA three. Oh, that is epic, dude! Huge, huge, dude! What? Oh, if you missed out on this, that sucks. Yeah, shit luck for you all. You didn't pay attention. Better but luck next I will... time. Kevin was on the ball with it, eh? Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Kevin was He's pretty there. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be so mad because this, because Zach joined like a day or two before we closed it. <laughs> oh no, poor Kevin. Dude. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. All My right. money was on Kevin. I wasn't gonna lie. For some reason, I felt like Kevin. Dude, he was close. That he was wheel, right it was there. like it was so close. close. All right, ladies and gentlemen, anyway. tonight that we have two topics. Well, one topic yes. was our giveaway. And this next topic is about our recent trip to Idaho. Yes, dude. Hell, should we? Yeah. We obviously don't want to spoiler it too much. No. But we'll give a couple little teasers. Yeah, I mean, we'll There's we'll tell you all about the rounds, except for scores. We'll tell you about the after the after party shenanigans. We'll tell you about where we stayed, where else we went. We'll give you the whole rundown on this pod. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's, dude, we did a lot of stuff. We did, man. We were, like, it was a jam packed trip. We were it all was, over the place, and it was kind of nice, you know, like, it was. we were doing mm-hmm. lots, and I, I enjoyed it. And I'm really glad on the last day there, we kind of had a chill half of the day, dude. We needed that, yeah, even though <laughs> we'll get to it. That round was probably one of the hardest rounds of all three of our lives. <laughs> oh, man, it was I bad. I, Oh, dude, yeah. like we'll get there. Yeah. All right. Let's start off with the day we went down there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. So I was, I was in uh, Cranbrook. I stayed the night at Zimmy's because driving from Lethbridge, I figured I'd break the drive up a little bit. Smart. Smart. And stayed the night at Zimmy's. We had a good, fu- we had a fun round at the, the college uh, Wednesday night. It was a good time. Zimmy made an unbelievable pork roast that we had for dinner. It was, oh, so good oh. but yeah so that morning we woke up we got packed had some breakfast at mcdonald's and then we went and played a couple holes at idle wild while we waited for yeah. for you to show up uh, what was your morning like that morning well typical morning so we my wife and my daughter came with us so we put i packed the car the night before with everything i could and then i think we woke up at like eight thank god Ophelia slept till eight. Yeah. And then we like I didn't even want to stop. We just we got gas. We got tip. We're full tilt ripping the cranbra. Yeah. Like I was hooning it. Probably too fast. <laughs> but we got there at a reasonable time. We met at Walmart, grabbed a few things, and like man once we got there, it was like took it felt like seconds and we got into the States. It did. It was perfect. Like we didn't, we didn't hit anybody at the border. We pulled right up. There was like three cars ahead of us. Yeah, it was nice. It was so locked nice. out. Yeah, locked really out. Did. The guy was, was super rough. chill too. Like just yeah. asked a couple questions. Like, yeah, go ahead. See what he he was like. Yeah, he's like, where are you going? Who do you know? And then uh, he like pointed at this poster. He's like, got any of these? And we're like, it was like some strawberries. He's like, okay. And I was like, hell yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> he was a lot less stressful going to the States than coming back for some reason. Oh, really? 
yeah, for some reason the guy, the Canadian side made me feel a little uh he seemed a little more I don't know. Dude, he was a beauty when we went through. Really? Well, I went through a little later because I did. had to take a piss. I fucked up hard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pee so bad. I was chugging that rock star and I was like, okay, I gotta pee. So I had parked and I ran across. And then when I <laughs> pulled out, went to go pull out, there's like 20 cars ahead of me. I'm like, what the f-? Yeah, and I just snuck up. in between a semi. <laughs> yeah, it filled up fast. It was so yeah. dumb, actually, when we were coming back. Somebody tried to go in the other lane, but like on the left hand side and get ahead of everybody. And then, then he's like, oh, then he realized, oh, hey, there's only one way through at the moment. So then he sat there for a good 10, 15 minutes before anybody let him in. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. There was actually three cars and two bikes that tried to go behind him, too brutal yeah it was stupid dude mm. and the lineup going to the states on the way home too did you see that it went that was for like 20 so clicks i swear so bad I was yeah, like, we, we lucked out we picked great days to travel yeah 100 percent. we locked out but right. you want to explain the the wicked little uh gas station stop on, on the way to the sandpoint yes so yeah. we got over the border at like i don't even know we probably got over the border at like noon or maybe yeah. one or yeah. something and then we uh, our first stop was in bonner ferry which is like half hour 20 minutes from the border um we hit a gas station and it's so nice down there like the gas stations the grocery <sighs> stores everything they all have the alcohol right there for you to get it is perfect dude everything Vapes, you need alcohol food everything you need. whatever else you need yeah so we stopped there right away zimmy grabs a six-pack <laughs> yeah. Zimmy, Zimmy drank from the moment we got to the states, basically almost until we left. Like until the morning we left. Yeah, guy was drunk the entire time. Just it animal. was wild, animal. dude. I don't know how he survived. I don't I was, The first night, like yeah, I partied. We all partied the first night. We did. The second night, I slowed down. Then the third night, I went to town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I think the fourth night I slowed down. Yeah, the fourth night nobody was. I like, just, Zimmy had a couple casual ones, and then the rest of us didn't even touch any. We literally just. I, I had one blue moon, but I almost threw up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My body's like no. I don't. I I cracked. Actually, that that I lied. I also cracked a blue moon, and it took me a while to get it down. And I actually poured out the last two sips because I was like, I can't right now. It's just <laughs> making me feel so worse. Oh, so, anyways. We hit this gas station. We grabbed some food, some energy drinks. Uh, Zimmy grabbed some booze and uh, some sick vapes. Not gonna lie, some vapes. So those we vapes, don't condone vaping. But Jared, explain it. So if you turn this thing on, there is vape mode and game mode. You hit game mode, you can play F two two, Pac Man, and Tetris, brother. On your vape, so you can play on the vape. On the vape, you can play Tetris or Pac-Man. Where are you and gonna, then, when are you going to find that in Canada? Nowhere. It was sick. I don't condone vaping, and I'm going to stop after this one again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that those things were sick. The Zimmy was literally distracted by that vape, just playing video games for the rest of the drive down to Sandpoint. <laughs> he was just playing Tetris, wasn't he? He was just playing Tetris, yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. I, I love it. It's got even got a little speaker on it. So I just kept hearing like the little sounds from Zimmy's face. <laughs> <laughs> so That's funny. awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, you know that you know that burrito I got? Okay, so I saw this filthy, thick burrito like this. It was like this, right? So it was a barbecue chicken mac and cheese burrito, right? Think it that sounds freaking delicious. Yeah. Terrible. Really? <laughs> it sucked. There was no chicken. The noodles were those big bastard noodles that are thick. And it was just filled with them. So it was like mushy macaroni and a little bit of barbecue chicken. It was terrible. But I ate it still because I was starving. Yeah. Oh. But it was terrible. Like if I were to rate a burrito from that gas station like that, like a two out of ten. Oh, that's bad. It was that bad, yeah. That's a bad burrito. Yeah. It was terrible emily took one bite was like nope <laughs> see it I, was terrible i got two corn dogs and they were 10 out of 10 corn dogs they were so good i i literally looked at emily i was like i should have got corn dogs like why so i good. screwed up 
Yeah. Oh. Uh, it, also, we're we're big into Celsius's. Dude, Ooh, yeah, we are. Canada, we have four flavors. Down there, they had like twenty. It was insane. It was crazy. It was insane. You, you Not to mention and... the twenty other freaking flavors of everything. Oh man, they, they just they have so many good flavors, so much variety. They have so much down there, and it's I all love it. Cheaper than here. <laughs> Way cheaper. Way cheaper. Ridiculous. It's like it's dumb. I can't mm. tell you. Yeah. Was it six? No, twelve pack of these were like fifteen bucks. Zimmy bought a thirty-six pack of friggin' Coors at Costco, and it was like twenty-eight bucks. Yeah, for thirty-six Coors. That's rid- he bought Coors a- Banquet. Banquets, and then after he bought like the stubby bottle ones, an eighteen pack, and that was like fifteen dollars. It was stupid. Hey, it was God. stupid. Fifteen dollars is cheap for a six pack up here, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's dumb. It's criminal. Criminal, anyways, I say. Anyways, <laughs> after that gas station, we had uh, we went through Sandpoint to um, Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, because we were there like early. We were pretty early. Yeah, we didn't get the we Airbnb until till four. four. Yeah. So we go through to Coeur d'Alene. We hit uh, Target, and then we hit. Did we hit Walmart? We did hit Walmart. No, Costco. Mm. Costco. 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 We hit Costco. Yeah. Costco, dirt cheap. We literally got these two packs of lemon chicken with for that five dollars each. Some of the best chicken I've ever had. Dude, it was it was nutty. And I like ri- want... those ribs. Those oh, dude. Oh I'm, okay, the we ate like kings and queens down there. We each per person paid like fifty bucks for groceries, fifty four or something. It evolved out to, mm-hmm. and we had. 36 beer. We had like what how many teas did we buy? 28 pack of teas. 28 pack of teas. Four packs of lemon chicken. Uh like two packs of ribs. Oh, watermelon. Bunch of veggies, potatoes, all the shit. Chips. Like, dude, we were set. Eggs, bacon, breakfast sandwiches. We had so much. Taquitos, so Taquitos. much food. Oh my god. Oh. And yeah, like Jared said, there was five of us splitting that, 50 bucks a person. For the five was, days. For five days. That's like 10 bucks a day. It was great. We were paying. It was great. It was insane. It was awesome. And it was good food. Like the ribs and the chicken oh. were some of the best prepackaged preseasoned meals I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. They did. Costco's elite. Elite. Yeah. But um, yeah, we, yeah, after Costco, I think, yeah, we yeah. went to Target Costco and then we left right away back to the. We hit up Safeway, sample. didn't we? Because we had to get other stuff. We had to get other stuff that Costco oh. didn't have. More alcohol. Yeah. More alcohol. Yeah. 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 We did hit up another <laughs> Safeway on the way home before we finally got to the destination. Yeah. And you it know was what? Like we five had o'clock. Buy. We got there. We bought more alcohol pretty much every night. Yeah. Like the first day. Zimmy ran through almost at 36 pack. There was like half the teas were gone. Yeah, that's when I got like, yeah, the next day we had to pick up like two more 12 packs, a couple more <laughs> six packs is crap. Oh, was I was insane. drinking, I was drinking those king cans like, oh, that yeah, are, like this big of like simply peach tea. Oh, so good. You drink two of those, you were hammered. <laughs> yeah, Zimmy, was they, you were dominating those. They were like three bucks a can. Yeah, they oh, were naughty. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh so that night. Okay, I want to say Jared led the whole time because he had data and I didn't. So he had the GPS. <laughs> On the way to the Airbnb, we were questioning so much. We were like, this is in the middle of nowhere. Where the <laughs> hell are we going? <laughs> yeah. On the Airbnb, it said 15 minutes past Sandpoint, north yeah. of Sandpoint. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. Maybe it's like 15 past sound point but to the east still by the lake no it was in some farmland yeah but but that's okay it was a very nice airbnb it was yeah it was really nice airbnb it was a little smaller than what it looked like in the pictures and what they made it seem out to be (laughs) yeah Uh, it worked out in our (laughs) all i need to say it was a good thing austin wasn't there because if, if me and him had to sleep in that loft, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Dude, Austin would probably would have passed out on the couch. Probably. But yeah. Yeah, that loft was tight. I had to 
I had to do a little a literal three point turn to get out of there every time I got up there. <laughs> and then and then the one day we look up and you had your monitor set up, you had your little computer, everything. And I had everything you're just like up. hunched. Yeah. yeah I had a good awesome. I had a good little setup up there, but yeah, it was it, it was, was tight. It was really tight. And oh, it was so nice. So in there, like everything was set up. Nice yard. There's a hot tub is one of the main reasons we got to Airbnb, we used it quite frequently. We did. And a nice little fire pit, big kitchen, that's all we needed. What I really liked is this: the whole space was covered by like thick brush. Like there were trees all around us, so super private. Yeah, nobody, nobody could see nothing. And like we were on like a property. I think the owners lived just down the driveway. So like when you pulled in... It was like another short little driveway cabin. And if you go way down there, it was like another piece of property or maybe it was a couple other pieces of property. But two days we saw a sheriff leaving from there. So I'm guessing a sheriff lived on that property. I think so. I think it's yeah. pretty either that or we were renting from some really shady people. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping the sheriff stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> there. And he was super chill. Yeah, he super was. Super chill, dude. Yeah. Really nice. He like... Yeah played ultimate frisbee he's like in the disc golf kind of it's like cool yeah. yeah yeah also the people in idaho absolute beauty super nice we didn't meet anybody that we didn't like no like everybody Except for was... like one guy that was a little yeah he was a little iffy but a little other little than iffy, that but ever... everybody Jeez. else we met so nice and we actually I saw thought... so many canadians yeah it was actually kind of weird it was crazy but it's... It's like right over the border, but the weird thing is, you'd think you'd see more BC people. It was strictly Albertan. Yep. Like all Albertans were there. So it's, I was like, what? Zimmy even met that one guy at Sandpoint Beach from Strathmore that he played in a tournament with. Yeah. Like four years ago, he met him at the tournament. And then four years later, he meets him down in Sandpoint at the beach. The, and they didn't even recognize each other until Zimmy took his glasses off. <laughs> yeah. They were talking yeah. for like 10 minutes. Yeah, and pretty... then all, oh, uh, all you can hear is, "Wait, I know you, Brayden. I know you." Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, "What the hell is going on over there?" Yeah, that was <laughs> funny. That was good. Oh, yeah, was... Um, that night we didn't really do much. We just uh, ate some good no. dinner. We got pretty drunk, had a good time, played some beersby. Oh yeah, let's, yeah. Let's oh yeah. Say, everybody was had a bit of a big head the next morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went. Yeah. We all went to bed pretty late, and you know we had a toddler in the house, so we were up and at him early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Ophelia woke up at five thirty that morning, mm. and I just remember like me and Emma were like, "Oh my god!" And uh, so we like, thank God we had all their toys in the room, and she's like, she's such a good girl that she just like does her own thing. She has she has milk, food, and water. She just go play. She watches like Miss Rachel, and just learns and reads her books and she just sat there for like an hour just breeding i was like oh wow okay surprisingly and then eventually she like smacked me in the head with like the ipad and she was like dad 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 i'm like oh, okay it's time to get up time to get up yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh too funny yeah. yeah and then uh day two went and played good old caliber caliber buddy dude that course is amazing that's my new that's in my top three now I loved that course. It's number There's a reason it's number eight in the world. Yeah, number eight in the world, number three in the states. It was so nice, like pristine so nice. fairways. The woman who owned it gave us raspberries when we got there. Super nice per- person. Like oh. the holes were so picturesque. Everything was so green and lush. Like it was so nice. The tea boxes, like they were those fake grass Beauty. tea boxes, and I actually really liked them. I like turf. I yeah. like turf. I've never hit turf before, and I love it, actually. It was, it was nice. Yeah. And uh, I was the only one who lost a disc, but... Yeah. But, but dude, the the drive was amazing. We were like, that's that's it. That's how you do it. Why showed us how to do it? Bombed. Bombed it. But, yeah, it never, uh, never came out of the Annie, uh, and it went into an abyss of trees and bushes, and it was never found again. <laughs> Yet. Yes, yeah, totally my mind. Maybe I will. Dude, Cal- I will say, Calibre being so picturesque and beautiful, 
it is it could be unforgiving oh, dude, it yeah. could be i i struggle bus the whole weekend but like there's times like it was like un unforgiving even if you're off by just a little bit you kind of had to be on point at this course it's not like this course was like a pitch up and play sometimes but a lot of times we didn't know that we could just walk mm-hmm. and find but like there's a lot of like you have to set yourself up for the next shot yeah at caliber i find oh yeah it's definitely it was definitely a placement course like you need you wanted to be in the fairway like like you said if you weren't in the fairway you were getting punished like oh and it, it was a hard scramble off the fairway too mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Yeah, you guys will witness a lot of hard scramble from all of us. This, yeah. <laughs> these videos. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was it was good though. We all had some good like good pulls. We all had some good. Oh yeah. Play at certain points, and we all had some bad play at certain points. Like yeah, it's expected from a course of that caliber. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will say, we won't say the scores, but I feel like if we go back. I think all of us are going to do way better now that we know the layout. And I, I would switch my bag up differently and throw in a bunch of other discs in there. I think. Yeah. I'd see me. Like, I don't really switch my bag. I just use different. I would just use a couple of different discs on some different shots, but I, I needed more understable drivers in my bag and I only brought overstable. So that's one thing I will say about caliber is you need flippy. If you sometimes like that disc you lost, that was your flippy leopard. Leopard, yeah. I all I brought was an Avenger SS, and that's like barely flippy. This is barely beat in. So that's one thing I wish I would have brought like a scorch or something that's like beat the pin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, It definitely helps having that variety. Like you definitely need like like a mixed bag. Like you need your flippy discs, Mm -hmm. you need your straight, and you need your overstable because that course incorporates all of that everything dude the layout is can i can we say what our favorite hole was oh for sure yeah yeah okay i or top your two favorite holes Ooh, um, there's two of us i really liked uh so after that uh the shot over the water i really liked the hole after that the par five where you're throwing over like uh, a little marsh area into a fairway and then it's like hole 14 yeah i yeah, really it was like a raised hole. fairway and a lower fairway i really that like was that sick hole. and if you don't there's like ob and then there's drop zone way back on the lower fairway but it's like i did like how it was higher and lower yeah over the marsh so you like kind of had to push it if you wanted that pristine look but still a lower fairway worked out pretty well yeah yeah that was probably one of, that was one of my favorites um it's hard yeah. not to say hole 13 too the shot over the water oh, like i really like that hole too. the gap with the power lines is so picturesque man yeah oh yeah so those are my top think. two those are good ones i am um, you know i can't remember if it's 10 or 11 you know the one where it had that sign where it says whining fee 500 dollars or whatever oh yeah where it was like that big drive and you go down and we're like, oh yeah, just play to the top of that hill, you're golden. But you can go to the top of that hill or behind those trees and there's two fairways and there's yeah. like a little dog leg left at the bottom to like a little bit of a raised basket. That one I think is sick. It was sick. Yeah, that, <laughs> it that punished was... me so hard though. Oh, did it ever. And you know what? That was so funny because, and you know what, Jared, if it wasn't for you, we never would have seen that sign. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With... Exactly. Jared went into this like, very bad spot i went in the jail middle of a bunch of trees and they they had put a sign in there that said whining fee five (laughs) hundred dollars yeah it cracked me up i loved it it was so funny it was like yeah people obviously cry when they go in there uh yeah and for good reason it was bad (laughs) it was terrible and like oh but that that hole like i feel like it's such a good hole because you could sort of set yourself up you could bomb down that hill and have like 180 feet to the pin and you're looking at eagle there you could jump out the eagle if you're big yeah but and then it's just like the like the placement where they get i love that hole yeah and then um yeah dude honestly 13 
13 or even uh even 18 ending on that big bomb and it like goes downhill and the basket's just there's a bunch of ob around the basket it's just like kind of tucked away to the right of a tree and it's like ends right there at the shop it's so sick it was very nice yeah i like that hole too that hole was sick Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah that that was caliber it was a super nice course they had a little pro shop there too which was cool yeah we didn't catch anything from there though we probably should have but yeah yeah it's okay. We got lots of footage. Yeah, we'll probably go back there again. Not gonna lie. Oh, for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. If I have the opportunity, I'm playing it again. Yeah, that was a really nice course. Mm-hmm. All right, day two. Uh, also day one, we got a little. We got pretty. Actually, we didn't get piled up after that. I guess no. After Calgary, not really. No. Zimmy and I had a couple of beers and we sat around the fire. That was about it. Yeah. Ooh. I will say, we did go in the Walmart. And isn't was that no? That is the night. First, yeah, that is the night. Me and Zimmy pick up the one fifty one Pokemon Elite Trainer Box. Yes, not not the just the Elite Trainer Box, not the like crazy one that's like more expensive. But we had some big pulls out of there. We each tossed the pack to Wyatt, and he got two God packs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> His first hit was a Venusaur EX, and it was sick. As it hell. was sick. <laughs> Yeah, and we all each got a couple good wicked packs that we cards we all been looking for. So it, it was good. It's yeah, good. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So day two, we went to mm-hmm. Fair. We went to Farragut Park. Wicked State Park, I will say. Unreal State Park, brother. I want to try every other course there. I know. I was talking to somebody at League, and they said the uh, the Arcadian or whatever. Uh, Arkansas or something. I don't know. Another course out there is actually harder than the one we played. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Which, which one did we play? We Mark. played Recreator. Recreator. That's the one. Yeah. That, Recreator. It's, a, it's a wicked course. It felt like the Cranbrook College course, you know? It did. It, it really was, did. It, it felt like Cranbrook College play. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, and we had some fun on that course. Uh, yeah. Course, like... Also ate us up a fair bit. Uh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll say right now, Jerry hit metal off the tee on a hole. Unreal. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, was that hole nine that was or hole nine. seventeen? Yeah, hole nine. Yeah, that was sick. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I was hunting that basket there. It was sweet. It was a really nice course. Uh, a lot of up and down, actually. Like there a were lot. quite a few raised tee boxes, actually. It, yeah, like the ones was the whole eight and fourteen are like right next to each other, and they were both like. I think there high... was six, six and eighteen. Six and eighteen, okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Six, six, both. eight us up. Oh, six, six was bad. You will <laughs> see it. It it was bad for all the boys actually, except Zimmy and Jared both hit friggin' huge putts. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. That was I forgot about that. That was my straddle putt. You both hit huge putts and it yeah. was sick. But yeah, um, that was a really good course. I enjoyed that course quite a bit. Uh I did too. I think Zimmy said he enjoyed it more than Caliber. Is that, that I'm pretty sure Zimmy said that was his favorite course overall. I think he did, yeah. And yeah, he, it was a good course. A hundred percent. I think I did like playing Recreator more than Caliber, but I think Caliber is overall the better course out of those two. A hundred percent. But I did like Cal- I did like Recreator. Just uh, I'm so in love with the Cranberry College play. Like, there's not a lot of shrubbery. It's all like sort of dry and stuff. And you can, even though you're off fairway, you can still hit some nutty like lines. Yeah, you which can. is sick. You're never out if you don't hit fairway there. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was nice. It was a really nice course, and I enjoyed myself as well. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I like. I love that course. It was sick. Yeah, I can't think of like uh, too many highlights though. Like uh, um, other than other than you guys hitting those big pots on six or whatever, and then you hitting metal on nine. And then I got my first, and I think only birdie. No, I think I got a birdie the last course. I yeah, you remember. did. You did. Yeah. Yeah, but I got a birdie. My first birdie. One Was of it- two. Tavin. Of the whole weekend, Tavin birdie on hole seventeen or 16? sixteen. 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 
16, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a fun little hole, too. That was good. Really, yeah, straight up the gut. You freaking yeah. heart that hole. That felt nice. The Paroxys came out so clean. I it loved did. it. It really did. Yeah, it was nice. I, was... I, al- I also lost the disc that day. Not because I yeah, left I... it. Not because I threw it bad. I literally picked it up as a second goof shot and then just forgot to pick it up and didn't realize it till the next day. Yeah, that why I lost two discs the whole weekend. <laughs> And I was the only one that that technically lost discs. Yeah, I uh, we'll, we'll talk about it when yeah. we get there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, I will say that um, hole five was a sick hole, even though the drive off of it super tight, and you can like just a just a dog leg left, super picturesque. But the basket sits on a hill that's like this. And the basket's like right here, yeah. and it's so scary, but it's such a sick hole. Yeah, yeah. I roll away potential one. was huge on that hole. Huge, huge. But that it was such a cool hole, though. Yeah, it was oh, a nice hole. There was another highlight on fourteen. After we were talking to those two guys, and Zimmy threw his thrasher, oh. bombed right up the pipe. Yeah, he that did ball was it. One of the best drives of the weekend. Yeah, that was sick. It was insane. It was insane. He's like, I got to show out. And he yeah. like grabs his sasher and just rips it down the pipe and they're watching him. He's like, yeah. And then he screams, <laughs> I have to perform. <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Uh Oh, forgot to mention day one, we went to the beach. Just the oh, Idaho yes. beach. That was really nice. Sandpoint. Sandpoint, Sandpoint Beach. Sorry. Yeah. Sandpoint Beach, yeah. Best beach. Best beach we went to. Yeah, it was definitely best better beach. Yeah. 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 Uh yeah. Day day two or day two after uh Farragut Park, we went to another beach. Not uh, as good. No, it it was smaller, busier. The water was not way as good. murkier and full of crap. And, yeah, there was like a shit ton of those leaf cutter wasp bees and then a ton of wasps around us and i was like oh yeah it was terrible yeah that, that was a little rough but before we got there we stopped at this wicked little diner down um i, I can't remember it's like before on i don't know what t- little area it's called but you like drive down to the lake when you get down you pass this navy training facility where they test submarines and do navy training in the lake Mm-hmm. which is insane and then we pulled up to this little diner it was like a biker diner it was pretty sick Pro- it was weird taking a baby in there with all like the bikers and stuff but we like got the food nicest waitress i've ever had in my entire life mm-hmm. we like we ordered and then we're like actually can we get it to go because it's hard to eat and out at a restaurant with a child and we want to go to the beach so we ordered this food got her drinks and she's like oh what can i get you like do you guys want sauces oh she threw in like 20 little things of sauces it was like four different flavors she like packed full of like all this stuff she was like super kind mm-hmm. it, like the best way just i've ever had in my life yeah she was awesome super accommodating and super accommodating the, the food was solid oh, like dude i devoured that burger at the beach yeah, yeah i had a reuben it so good. and it was oh so good god damn it It was yeah good food good good vibe there yeah it was Mm -hmm. and then uh that night we uh proceeded to get pretty drunk again again i i I slowed down a little bit but is that the night where you and zimmy stayed up till like three in the morning (laughs) you know i looked at the clock it was like quarter to one and you guys were like at first you guys were like, let's throw on Family Guy. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to the bedroom. But you guys turned on Deadpool instead. <laughs> yeah. What time did you go to the bed? What time did you end up uh, if technically I'm, close to your bed? If I'm being honest, I don't know. Uh, I remember I went up to my bed. Zimmy has a video of it. I climbed up to my bed with a bag of chips in with intention to devour some chips and watch some Bob Do Sports. Um, and then I remember waking up a couple hours later with the light above me on and all that was on my bed was my head. <laughs> yeah, dude, Jess said she looked across and you're just like passed out with the light on and she could see you clear as day just like <laughs> done. So. Yeah, I was uh, I was pretty rough. And then, uh, that was quite evident uh, the next morning. 
<laughs> oh, it's the most hungover I've ever seen you in my life. Dude, it was uh it was bad. I was running on maybe four hours of sleep. And I, I just drank so much that night. Um I was I was done. I was done. Like um I was what I I was moving so slow. I think mm-hmm. I passed out the on the reaction couch. time was so slow. Yeah, you did, was, you did. Yeah. It, oh, it was Weird. so bad. I know Ophelia kept like randomly going up to you and you'd be like, uh huh. And then you she'd like pop plop up onto your legs and then you'd just immediately like pass out again. Yeah, it was, it was so funny. That uh and that oh. oh that third round. I know Emily in that night though, Emily kept she came up three times to get me and you out of the hot tub and we wouldn't leave. Did she? Yeah, she tried to get us out three times and she's like, I just gave up. <laughs> We were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be right in. And then we stayed in for like an hour and a half after everyone left. <laughs> I remember her coming out once. <laughs> it was three times. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, it was a good time, though. It was a good time. It was, yeah. Um, so, yeah, third round, third and final round uh, was bald foot. That's... <laughs> I don't know if I I would play that one again, but not hungover. Oh my god! Yeah, it, Jared and I were hungover as hell. We had zero energy wow. on the course. Zimmy, um, by the time we got to the course, was two beers in already. Um, he was already drunk again. <laughs> ready oh to go. It was insane. He he had the safe to say he had the best round of the day that day. Um, but oh, that yeah. course, it was t- it was a tough course. Tough course, dude. It was it was another unforgiving course and, and not even hard. because not even because there was a lot of shrubbery and stuff because almost every single basket was on a hill I, like every single it was roll away roll away roll away it was crazy i was like what the f-? i like oh and like hole one they started out strong with a whole one it was like a was it a par four and it was like it was a bomb but to the left, if you went left, which I did, there's a ravine, a little creek, which I thank God made it over. And I had to walk across this plank of wood and like straddle this tree. And yeah. then I had that, I, I had a good out, but like that was a big hole to start off on. I was like, holy shit, I, I think we're in for a fight this one yeah. immediately after. Yeah, that was like 500 something feet, dead straight, tight fairy. Like Jared said, cliff on the left, and then a whole bunch of trees on the right. Like, it was a tough hole. Yeah, it was a tough hole. And then I think there's a two, three, four, five, and six were all like really cool holes. Like, there was like downhill. Oh, and seven, seven. Yes. Seven, seven, eight, I think nine, nine, and then 10 is where it kind of got shitty. No, it started getting bad at eight. At eight? eight so is, is when seven it the big bomb up and then dog leg right? The one that kicked your ass? No, that was eight. Oh, okay, okay. And it didn't even kick my ass that bad. I took a bogey, okay? But you had such yeah, a it... rough, like, getting out of where you got off your drive. Like, you oh. were in the... You got out so good, but you were in the <laughs> shits. Yeah. Uh. No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. So that that was hole nine, the the uphill one. Um the big uphill. The big uphill. The one that really kicked my ass that I took a, a quad bogey on was that. oh, that was like hole six, seven, I think. No, hole, hole se- seven was the downhill forehand. Okay, hole six. Hole six. Yeah. Hole six. Um, it was just like a hump you had to get over it, and it was straight. There was a little cliff by the on the left by the basket. Oh my god, I remember now. So uh, I oh grounded. I grounded my shot to the top of the hill, which like not good, but easy up and down. Uh, shanked my up shot, left it like forty short, but down. De- death putt. I was like, yeah, I'll run it. Why not? Um, ran it, rolled away. Not too bad though. I rolled away into the bush. Uh, straddle put out from like 25 air ball uh, come back here from about 15 air ball and then it rolled down the hill into a shitty spot yeah uh, I had absolutely no putt I threw a Hail Mary 
forehand that somehow kicked off a tree i think and <laughs> ended up five feet and then i snuck in my uh s- my putt for seven took a quad bowl. yeah at that point i, I thought i was, losing. was i thought it was game over like it was bad it was bad Dude, that even that that hole kicked your ass i think it was one of the coolest holes it was a cool hole i did like that hole. i the like the incline was like 16 but it was like half the height like half the distance up the hill and then it was just like two straight little alleys and with death behind i thought that was a really cool looking hole it was a nice hole I it was a sick hole well i didn't enjoy the hole but it was a nice hole <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but hey you got a birdie after the next yeah hole. yeah, I did, yeah, so I did, I did. yeah. I did. but yeah um yeah so that course kicked most all of our asses uh there was a stretch where there was like yeah. six holes that were all dog leg rights. Yeah, that was that's the shitty thing about that course was like, like you said, literally like what that big uphill one nine or eight mm-hmm. from eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve was like the last sort of dog leg right where it was like it was straight but there was still it was yeah. the big steep uphill one that winded us all. Yeah. Yeah, and then it ended. So like, eight to twelve was all dog leg right. It was bad. Yeah, yeah, it was like at that point, it's like really like like throw a different shot in there. Yeah, it was like we were kind of more annoyed at that point. We're like, okay, what the hell is going on? Plus, you and I were hungover as hell, and Zimmy oh. suffered a knee injury in the second round, so he was oh, hurting yeah. trying to climb up and down all those hills. Yeah, it's it was. Yeah, dude, it was all dog leg right, but it was like up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill. Oh, you gotta go up a hill and then down a hill, and then you gotta walk back up that hill to a tee pad to go back down another hill. Yeah, it was like what the. Yeah. But and, once you got back across, it was not too bad. Yeah, the last couple of holes were fine. Uh, yeah. And Jared, uh, one of Jared's discs. Uh... Oh my, dude! One of my favorite discs I use all the time. Yeah oh dude it was like whole what was it 16 yeah i think yeah it was whole 16 it was like a surprise surprise another little dog leg right into a little crevice shit the bed on my drive and i go to take out my amazing divergent golem that i love and i went for an upshot whipped it surprise surprise hit a tree (laughs) somehow (laughs) or ripped so the divergent golem is like a soft putter that you can like it's floppy as hell mm. soft plastic ripped from top to bottom right on the edge and i couldn't use it anymore i was like no because it was like my go-to soft putter just forehand get up hits the ground dusted it ripped it in half yeah that was uh-huh. crazy we I've saw never it hit seen that. that no we saw it hit that tree we're like oh yeah you hit a tree you picked it up and there was just a massive hole and we're like yeah what the hell? I was so cheesed, dude. Oh, oh, it sucked. I I gotta buy another one. <laughs> yeah, cause you do throw that a lot. Like it works a very lot. well for you. Yeah, and now I uh, I'm gonna buy two more. <laughs> Good thinking. Have a backup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that that course devoured us. It did. It was, it was a cool little course. There's like a little foot there too, where it's all ace runs, mm-hmm. which is which is a cool little piece to that area it's a beautiful park yeah yeah if we, over a creek if we weren't feeling so rough i would have liked to maybe play little foot like at least nine holes but yeah but yeah we were feeling <sighs> there was no way in hell no and by the my end of feet that, were tired i was ready i was ready to be gone yeah by the end we were so sore so tired we just literally went straight back to the airbnb and just chilled the rest of the night we didn't really do anything yeah yeah it was it was nice it was needed well then, needed well needed and then the drive back it was so oh. funny man i woke up and as i was climbing down the ladder from my little loft i hear something and i look over and zimmy's on the couch and he looks at me and like just straight face he's like the hangover finally hit me and i'm <laughs> like oh no like five straight nights and days of drinking he was so rough i've never seen zimmy that low energy before i'm pretty sure he got home and passed out because we didn't hear from him for the rest of the day he sent me a snap this morning he said i just slept for 14 hours 
shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh that was the Idaho trip. Very eventful and a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of funny moments in the vlog, in the round videos. Like, I guess can we can we tell them that there'll be like four videos? There's oh yeah, four videos coming. Yeah. So we made this entire trip. We did uh, like a tournament um for this and like like three three rounds and it, there was like a handicap system which we will explain more in the first series of video series video of the series um and then after the three rounds we crowned a champion you got a prize it was a, a whole thing um and then on top of that we had pros here what oh you froze there for a second oh Sorry. okay yeah it's okay you've done that for me a couple of times too oh, okay. it happens but anyways um yeah uh and then on top of that we had a gopro set up like in the car and took it around with us to kind of get the behind the scenes of everything that we did catch some funnier clips of stuff we were doing um and that will also be coming out so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button go to our youtube channel hit the notification button so you get alerted to when this content comes out because it's going to be rolling get that bell of dinging yeah get the bell a ding and it's yeah. it's there's some funny clips in there there's some bear no bear clips there's some like you gotta explain that. funny shanks funny shots there's some wicked pots wicked shots ace runs yeah beach times we went all over sandpoint it was such a good trip it was so um was... really quick before we say goodnight, gotta explain the bear no bear thing yeah, you guys are probably going to hear it in every single video from now on. Yeah, it's going to go on for the rest of our lives. But <laughs> so I think it was like the second night. Um, we were all, we've all, we had all, us three guys have been uh, uh, letting some gnarly farts rip the whole time we've been there. The poor girls, I will say. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were getting the brunt of it. Yeah. <laughs> so... Around the second night, I introduced this game called Bear No Bear. So what happens is whoever's in the game, when you fart, you have to say no bear before somebody else around you says bear. If they say bear before you, after you farted, you have to get down on all fours and growl like a bear. No bear. Oh, I almost had you. But yeah, Just like that. Just like that. Um. So yeah, there was a lot of that being played, and I think we got quite a bit of it on the course as well as off the course on video, so you'll be seeing it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but some funny things happened that I accidentally <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, man. It was man. legend. This content is going to be so good, so just keep your eyes peeled. Um, we've got all this content from Idaho. Plus we still have footage from when Jared and I went to Calgary. So they'll be yeah. rolling out interchangeably. So just keep that notification bell on and subscribe because both the Calgary and the Idaho content is so good. You're not going to want to miss it. We play some great courses. We have a lot of fun. There's a lot of laughs. Yeah. Please, please subscribe, help us out. If you're feeling generous, hit a like, if you see a video or a clip that you enjoy. It would really help us out. Also, I just want to say out there, we have some other destinations that UP kind of intrigued to go to on our next trip next year. Mm -hmm. But if you guys have any wicked courses or destinations you think that would be super sick for us to try and play, send us a message on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anything. Let us know what kind of courses you think would either kick our ass or we'd have a really good time at making content for you guys so yes we want to we want to go to places that you guys would enjoy seeing the content at so yeah let us know because we would love to play some great courses and we know and who knows better than the people that play them all the time yeah. so please let us know because we're more than willing to come out and try these courses 100 percent. we're willing to fly drive we'll go wherever we'll get it figured for sure we'll figure it out all right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think that's been the 16th episode of the UP podcast. We're coming Let's up go. on that 20. We're coming up on it. Ooh, Ooh. What's planned for the 20? You think, uh, what should we do? Eh, we'll determine that later. Yeah, stay tuned. It'll be a surprise. Ooh.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.